Hi, I'm Valerie Wildmuster, and I'm here at the Chasen Museum doing uh, illumination demonstrations. Um, here we have a work in progress um, that I will be painting and completing the next three days. Um, basically, this starts out in pencil, and then it's um, outlined in ink, and then we're ready to, to paint. The very first step always is to apply your gold. Um, which you can see um, on the border here and it can actually be shell gold which is gold powder with a, um, a binder and um, the other type of gold would be raised gold or gilding um, which is not actually on this piece at this point um, and then we um, start once the gold is on we will start putting in color in a pattern. So I have a red, blue, and green mixed and I will be applying that um, in alternating colors and then we also have some shadow color that will go on the leaves and that will get blended in and then your final step is to apply white designs. So um, here I have um, some completed flowers that are have already the shadow and the white on them. Um, and down here I have flat color uh, which needs shadowing. So when we have a leaf like this that's in blue, I will take uh, some of the blue shadow and carefully apply that over the blue and when that's dry then I will be blending that so I'm going to go down here and apply some to this And that goes right on top of the light blue that's already been painted on there. In between all the steps, it's also um, wise to have everything dry in between. Uh, now what I will do is take a damp brush um, that's clean. And what I'm going to do is blend where I have the shadow color and the base color. So I just want to soften where the two colors are meeting. So I'm just going to press down on the brush a little bit and soften that. And you can see that it gradates the color a little bit. And now that's going to be ready for the white design. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Just press down on the brush a little bit right where those two colors meet and then you get a softening. And what this does is it adds a lot of dimension to your illumination. Rather than having just one flat color, you're having um, the contrast of different values from light to dark adds a little more interest and a three-dimensional quality to the, the flower. Okay. And now we're ready for white which is the final step um, 
in illumination manuscripts, you always see a white pattern on top of the color. So that's very typical. And um, I'm going to start with a white dot. and have some white lines. So we'll put a dot here. So that completes the steps. Uh, when you have all the colors would be treated the same way. Each different color gets a different shadow color. For instance, red, I usually use black to shadow that. And green would be dark green. And as you saw, the blue, a very deep blue. Um, one thing you can do with the um, gold, gold, the shell gold, is to put a tooling pattern um, directly on it. So to do that, I'm going to use a stylus, and we actually are debossing or pressing into where I've already applied the gold. So in this section here, I can simply draw a little design into the gold, and then that will pick up the light. And again, create a pattern within the gold. The shiny gold makes one pattern, and then the tooling will pick up the light in a different way, catch the light, and then um, make it sparkle. So all these things um, are about patterns and developing a pattern to make a complete illumination.